Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new CZ P10S. Polymer frame, striker fire, subcompact gun from CZ. Newly released this year. Two years ago, they released the P10C. And people loved it. I loved it. I said, you know, great gun. Feels great. Very accurate. Excellent trigger. But the question was, when are they going to make a subcompact model? And here it is. They did it. Three and a half inch barrel. Nice feel to it. Now, they, they took many of the features from the P10C, most all of them, but they did make some changes, and we're going to talk about that, and these are positive changes that I think are well-made changes, because when the, well, let me just get to it. The, the P10C came out, the grip texturing was extremely aggressive, and I said that. I said, you know, this, this would rub up against your body. You can see there's grip tape on this. The... The texturing, in my opinion, was overly aggressive. They dialed it down here. Check that out. I think that is the perfect blend between aggressiveness and comfort right there. And if it rubs up against your body, it's not going to irritate it that much. Another thing they did was, although it is an ambi gun, you can see slide stop there, slide stop on the other side. The mag release comes in the case on the left side of the gun. It can be switched over, so it is an ambi gun. However, look at the difference between the P10C. See that right there? A smaller mag release, and that was tight. Very tight. This one, it's not tight at all. It's larger and easier to deploy that magazine. Much easier to deploy the magazine. All right, so I think that is a positive move. But that trigger pull is what really draws people to this gun because I measure it right between uh, five and five and a half pounds. On average, five five and a quarter pounds, which is which is a pretty nice trigger pull. And then you're looking at a reset right there. Man, when I shot the P10C originally, I was like blown away. I'm like, this is really nice. They were calling it a Glock killer, and many people many people still agree with that. But I'm happy to have this because this is hitting the concealed carry market. Now, the sights here, the, before I go into the sights, this is the optic ready version. So the MSRP on this is $577. Uh, I saw this on Gunbroker going for well over $600, and they're gone. All right, people bought them up. This, this gun is in high demand. Now, it's also made in Kansas City. So the advantage there is that, you know, we'll see more of these on the shelves being that they're american made so many uh guns that are being imported are, are held up in customs they're held up here they're you know they have all these issues going on not when they're made in the u.s you know and they already have their atf approval they're good to go so hopefully you'll see these on the shelves more often than you do now especially with the rammy people said you know i've been wanting that gun for years i can't find one that's why if they make the rammy in kansas city you'll be all set but so this is an optic ready model so you were seeing it for over six hundred dollars msrp 577 without the optic ready msrp 499 same as the p10c probably around 450 once people settle down and realize that they can get these but it is cut out for a trigicon rmr and a loophole delta point pro so there you go for those who want to carry optics you can do that now it does have a tritium dot there blacked out rear sights a rail there for your accessory, most likely a light. It does come with a couple other back straps. Here's one of them. Okay, to custom fit the hand size. I think I already mentioned three and a half inch barrel. Extremely smooth trigger pull and two 12 round magazines. Another thing that I noticed is that, and, and the one thing when you manipulate a CZ slide it's like glass and this is no different it really is like glass but it does have a dual recoil spring uncaptured and that's different from the p10c that's a captured recoil spring all steel guide rod and then here's your three and a half inch barrel it's essentially the same barrel i took the barrel out of the p10c put it in here and racked the slide put a pen in there and it shot it across the room so you're good there i mean if you want it, it hangs out about a half inch longer but the machining is just so nice and it, it really does it feels it feels like glass when you uh, manipulate the slide let me see if i can get this in here 
I, I think it, it is an advantage that they're now making them in the U.S. All right? I, I think that's a good thing. Let's go ahead and get it on the scale, and then we'll measure it up with some other guns. Oh, before I do that, we got the Rammy here. People are wondering, is it CZ's smallest gun now? Nope, Rammy's still smaller. Three-inch barrel and a 3.5-inch barrel. Ten rounds in the Rammy, 12 rounds in the P10S. But I do have a loaded mag here, and we'll take a look at what this is weighing in at. Here's the unloaded weight. One pound, eight and three quarters ounces. And there we have 24 and three quarters ounces. Here's 12 rounds of target loads. All right. And the loaded weight, 29 and three quarters ounces. So just under 30 ounces with the P10S with 12 rounds. I also want to show, let me get that. There's your, there's your mag. I like those uh, orange followers because you can see where where the uh, where your round count is as that drops, or shall I say, as it moves up when shooting. If you need to check, let's bring out the Glock 26. All right, we can see here. You can see that you know a little bit longer there. Holds two more rounds than the Glock 26. And there's what we're looking at from a grip. The one gun that I think measures up well with it is the is the FNS 9C. All right, so we look at the barrel length just a little longer with the P10S. And both hold 12 rounds. The one thing I'd like the P10S to eventually have, they may have it already, is an extended base plate. I do like it that that's beveled in there so you can rip out the mag if you need to, if you have an obstruction there. But, you know, the way the uh, FN has that extended base plate makes it nice for three-finger contact. I think either CZ will do that or an aftermarket company will do that. Here's the Walther PPQ subcompact. And we'll take a look at this. This is uh, a little shorter there. I don't know if you can tell. The PPQ goes a little bit longer and then it goes shorter on the grip. But here we're looking at 10 rounds and here we're looking at 12. So here we go guys. We waited for it. It's here. I am very excited to get this P10S in my hands. I've been waiting for it patiently. It's here now. I'm going to take this to the range and show you guys how well it performs. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.